to know where you came from. So do I. You don't remember anything. I wanted to streak behind Daniels and streak behind it. Or maybe so funny. Just, ah, ah. Oh, now they're done. No, yeah. Oh, this is the end. Ah. <laughs> um, the thing is, I would. Okay. <laughs> so I actually just saw you in um, Canada for Blackbird. Oh, yes. Right. Um, I was just back there doing another movie. Oh, really? It's way better not in winter. That's what I was going to say. Did Tron just get you so like fed up with the studio that you had to go spend in the months elements? in the Boy. desert and then in a, yeah, mi in the a mini skirt <laughs> in like 30 below? It, it, it's interesting. It's the added challenge of being out in the elements. In a way, it helps you act because you are reacting to the weather. Right. Um, but it's also really difficult at times. You know, I think that's what's amazing about making movies is that we take giant pieces of equipment out into the wilderness and it seems crazy it's like building pyramids why are we doing this <laughs> we go we do this very difficult thing and uh it's to, it's to bring these stories home and i think you know that really started with westerns you know in the early days of film people rolled these giant cranes and cameras out into the middle of the desert and they um strapped them to carriages and horses and they they created this beautiful genre. You already rode horses. Right? Yes, my whole life. Well, you were a, you were a Western. Person. Not Western. I rode okay. English, which is very different. So I did have to learn for this movie, and it was, um, you know, it was a sharp learning curve because we didn't have much time. Right. But Daniel and I trained together, and then Harrison's already really good. So right. it was a matter of keeping up with Harrison and learning from him, and and all of us were at different levels, but we got really good by the end. And, and there's a, there's an amazing sense of uh, reality in this film, even the even, I agree. even the special effects. Yeah, um, are were practical, right? I mean, yeah, for the most part. I mean, there's some CGI in there with the aliens and everything, of course. But we were really working out there in those caves. Actually, there's one one scene I remember shooting where I had to shoot a gun at a giant uh, pod of goo, like a big pocket of goo attached to the ceiling, and it had to like splash down. It was like a Lady Gaga video, but <laughs> and um, and that's something that most films would do in. The, post you know there was a lot of practical stuff that was done in this movie and i thought that was really cool and it's why it feels the way it does right. so all that slime was there that slime was there those poor actors covered in slime <laughs> oh, yeah that's right did, for did they hours like reset and do it a, a yeah and it was times? like <laughs> <laughs> and as far as the uh, flying stuff did yeah you... i was yanked off a galloping horse with a bungee cord and pulled 40 feet into the air was the crane in one place two cranes or? And I ran in between, I galloped in between them with Daniel next to me. And then at one point I knew they were going to pull me back. Right. And all I would hear before they pulled me was like, Hut! and I was like, oh God. <laughs> I don't really understand how you fake that. I mean, I'm sure there's a way, but we really did it. Dangle you in front of a green screen. Yeah, it's a little mini Barbie doll me. <laughs> <laughs> little plastic horses. <laughs> <so. laughs> when I visited the set, there was just a sense of kind of joy on the set, even though everyone True. had already been out there uh, for three months in the stinking <sighs> desert. But was that from, because of the collaboration, because of the personalities, what, what, what was your sense of it? Everybody there really wanted to be there making this movie. Everybody loved the movie, loved the story. And we're making a Western, like there's nothing cooler. Yeah. And I think it's something every actor wants to do. It's right. what you do as a little kid, when you put on your sheriff pin and you walk around shooting your brother and sister. You know, that's right. what we all dream of doing. And I think all of us had this sort of childlike appreciation for the experience right. and that kept us laughing the whole way through. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. For thank you. Out. Such a pleasure. Thank you.